good morning my dear students welcome back to our evs class how are you all fine okay today let's discuss our chapter 3 plants around us okay we can see a lot of plants around us isn't some are big some are small some are very small and some are with weak stem okay so there are different types of plants let's read about different types of plants okay first one trees trees are tall plants with strong woody stems called trunks they have many branches people pine banyan and gulmohar are some common trees okay so now we know tall plants are called trees and they have strong woody stem can you name some trees yes we can see so many trees around us isn't like people pine banyan gulmohar yes we can see mango tree coconut tree jackfruit tree etc etc okay have you seen trees look around your home and name some trees that we can see the okay then the second type is shrubs shrubs are plants with thin and hard woody stems plants such as rose jasmine cotton and lemon are shrubs we can see small plants with many branches have you seen that some plants are small and they has so many branches such plants are called shrubs okay like our rose jasmine hibiscus cotton and lemon are shrubs okay then the third types are herbs herbs have thin soft green stems they are smaller than shrubs mint and tulsi are herbs they are also known for their medicinal value okay around us we can see some very small plants with soft green stems yes they are known as herbs can you name some herbs yes mint tulsi coriander wheat paddy these are herbs okay they have thin soft green stems many herbs are known for their medicinal value like our tulsi okay so students now we discussed about three types of plants such as trees shrubs and herbs okay now i will ask some questions okay these are true or false questions okay here my question carefully and you can answer it first question strong and thick woody stems are called trunks my question is strong and thick woody stems are called trunks say the answer 
Strong and thick woody stems are called trunks. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. Okay, we know strong and thick woody stems are called trunks. So the answer is true. Then second question. Shrubs have soft green stems. Shrubs have soft green stems. Yes, the answer is false. We know shrubs are plants with thin and hard woody stems. Okay. Then third question. Herbs have woody stems. Herbs have woody stems. Say the answer. Yes, it is false. We know herbs have thin, soft, green stems, not woody stems. Okay, so the answer is false. Then the fourth question. A rose plant is a shrub. Say the answer. A rose plant is a shrub. Yes, the answer is true. We know rose plant is a shrub. Okay, very good. Did you see some plants that grow in water? Yes. Okay, such plants are called water plants. Some plants grow in water. They are known as water plants. Can you name some plants that can grow in water? Yes, water lily and lotus. Very good. Okay, water lily and lotus are water plants. Okay. Then have you seen some plants with soft weak stems and they cannot stand straight like trees. They climb on walls or other plants for support. Such plants are known as climbers. Okay, they have soft weak stems so they cannot stand straight. Okay, so they climb on walls. Or other plants for support. Can you name some climbers? Yes, money plant and grapevine. Okay, they are climbers. Okay. Then you can see some plants with soft weak stems. They grow along the ground. Such plants are called creepers. Okay, some of them bear big and heavy fruits. Pumpkin and watermelon are creepers. Okay, so creepers are also plants with soft weak stems. They grow along the ground. Some of them bear big and heavy fruits. Pumpkin and watermelon are creepers. Okay. Now we know water plants, climbers and creepers. Okay. Then listen my question. Take the correct answer. First one. Money plant is a climber or creeper. Yes, money plant is a climber. Okay. Then second one. Creeper or Climber grow along the ground. As we know, creeper. Creeper grow along the ground. Then, climbers and creepers have strong or weak stems. Yes, climbers and creepers have weak stems. Okay. Students, now let's study parts of a plant. Plants have many parts. They are roots, stem, leaves, 
flowers and fruits observe the picture of a plant have you seen different parts of a plant can you name the plant parts yes we can see roots stem flower fruit and leaf isn't these are the different parts of a plant each plant part looks different and plays a different role in the plant now let's learn the role of the plant part in the plant have you seen roots there can you say what is the role of the root in the plant yes we can see roots grow under the ground they hold a plant in its place they absorb water from the soil then stem stem grows upwards above the ground it carries water to all the all the parts of a plant then leaves leaves use sunlight water and air to make food for the plant then flowers flowers are of many colors shapes and sizes rose and lily are flowers then fruits fruits are the fleshy and juicy parts of a plant they have seeds inside them apple mango and papaya are fruits students do you know plants are very important for us okay plants help us in many ways so we should take care of them let's see how do plants help us do you know plants give us clean air to breathe plants can clean the air around us our surrounding okay so plants give us clean air to breathe then tall green trees give us shade tall green trees can save us from sunshine and they give us shade then trees give us fruits and vegetables to eat then plants give us fruits and vegetables to eat do you know we have a lot of fruits and vegetables that all we get from plants can you name some fruits yes apple orange grapes okay so these all fruits we are getting from plants then our vegetables like tomato potato cucumber brinjal okay that also we are getting from plants so they give us fruits and vegetables to eat then they also provide food and home to animals okay we know some animals are eating plants okay so plants provide food not only for us they provide food for other animals too okay and trees are home for many types of animals so they also provide food and home to animals then they give us flowers and wood we use wood to make beds sofa chairs and tables okay we are getting flowers from plants these flowers are very very useful for us then we are using wood to make our furniture 
okay so students plants are very important for us so we don't cut trees we should save our plants because they are very important for us without plants we cannot live okay see some of your posters on don't cut trees so students understood how do plants are important okay so i will read some questions you want to answer it okay fill in the blanks first question plants give us dash air to dash yes the answer is clean air to breathe very good second question plants give us dash and dash to eat plants give us fruits and vegetables to eat okay third question plants also provide dash and dash to animals yes the answer is food and home okay hope all of you understood the importance of plants okay so we don't cut trees because these trees are very helpful for us that is not only for us they are very helpful for other animals and birds too okay they are providing food and home to uh, so many animals and birds okay so we want to save trees okay students so in our today's class we learned about the chapter plants around us hope all of you understood this chapter very well thank you all